YouTube. Oi, gente! Oi, gente! YouTube! Look who's back! <risos> What did I just say? Oi, gente! Hi, guys! Hi. Oi, gente! Oi, gente! Look who's back, my dear friend Alex. We are gonna talk... Well, I mean, we were filming some IGTV video so we did one for my Instagram two for her Instagram and we decided to also do a video for YouTube because I mean we can never you know leave YouTube out well YouTube is your first love yes. and you never forget your first love no <laughs> so I asked Alex to share the thing we always want to know What's in her makeup bag? <laughs> and you know, I just I am obsessed. Which I can't close. <laughs> which is awful. Well. But I'm obsessed with looking into other people's makeup bags mm. and collections and all those th those things. And I know this is not what you carry with your with you like 100 of the time. No. But it's what it's here now, and I'm yeah. interested. It's what's happening today. So, so this is the thing, it's almost like what's in my makeup bag today because I do switch things around but then, you know, there's always the kind of classics that you will always have and keep and use so there's a lot in here so there are a few brushes which uh, my biggest beauty mistake, if you want, is that I don't clean my brushes after every use Me I know, but I, hate clean I know, brush. but the truth is that you should really clean your brushes after each use. I try to clean them once a week. Twice would be better, but that's my biggest beauty mistake. I don't clean them enough. But anyway, beauty scene. So that that's not good. But wait, which brushes do you carry? So on? I have, yeah. So I like the Real Techniques. It's so <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Real techniques, I promise you, it's not you, it's my brush. Uh, so I have their blush brush, but I use that pretty much for like like bronzer and blush. Then I have, this is like a Smashbox one, but it's their blurring foundation. But I use this for cream bronzer. Oh! It's the perfect shape, in my opinion. Wow. Then I have the Laura Mercier Camouflage Powder to apply her under eye powder to set my concealer. Then I have a Shiseido one, and I don't know what the name is. This is a very specific shape that I use for eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. you, can kind of, you can shade, but then you can also press it in because of the shape of it. Interesting. So I really like that one. Oh, is that how you do it? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, it took me a while to learn that as well. <laughs> I didn't know that. And then, and then the detailing smudge brush by My Kitco, which is a tiny... Oh, no, let me do this. I want to look like a professional. <laughs> which is tiny and this is great for when you want to blur shadow underneath <laughs> and on, on top, just along the line. So these are the main ones. I have more, but this is obviously for, not when I do my makeup from scratch at home, you know, this is when I, kind of the when I, the goal. What I carry around. So then I have a foundation. At the moment I'm using Hourglass Vanish Stick and this one is Warm Ivory. I love this. I used to not be a fan of stick foundations mm. because I always thought they were heavy. But that's because I used to just go like this. Like I used to put too much on. <laughs> I was like, that's a bit heavy. But the <laughs> truth is that the truth is that you just need very little and actually it gives the skin a really great quality. Mm. So generally when I'm filming or when I'm taking pictures, I will use this foundation because nice. it just gives a little it's It gives more coverage to me than a light one, but it's not uber, uberly heavy and you can really blend it. So I really like that. And also I like Hourglass. I think it's a really good, you know, it's a really nice brand. Oh, and For by skin? the way, here's my foundation brush that I have. Oh. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion and you have the side for foundation and then the side for... See, I use this one. <laughs> I use this one for liquid highlighter. Yeah, but I'm used for, but again it's because it's flat. Yeah. So it's like and I just think it works good it works well with a, a with the stick, stick foundation. foundation. And the stick foundation now that you not doing like the <laughs> you take it with the brush. No, no, you still do it like this. I do, but, but less. But less. So I'll go like a bit here and then I'll do a little literally like that. Tum. Half heart, Tum. the other half of the heart. And then down the nose and then a bit and then I blend. Mm. But I, no, I do put the stick on the skin okay. and then I use the brush and I go, maybe I should do that once. Oh, no. show it. 
show it properly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then concealer. I mean, you know, I've, I've told you I have a big problem with concealers. I'm always searching for the perfect one. Um, and right now my under eye circles are bad, so I'm using the Instant Full Cover by Bobbi Brown. It's really thick. It's like, you know what? It's like sticky. Wow! Yeah, it's really thick and sticky. My shade is wow. beige. But Because when, when you look at the, yeah. the packaging, yeah. you, you but like think tick, it's tick, a... Tick, 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 <laughs> Wasting tick, them. Tick, tick. So literally, like no, you could, just... but you could literally like it's heavy and it's sticky. Like a paste. Yeah, it's like a paste, Almost. but it stays put, you know. And you you just press it in. So when you need, like, I my scar, it's good on my scar. Mm. It's just it just really stays put. And then usually I'll seal it. And this is one of my like all time hero perfect products. It's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And it's, it, I mean, I think I bought this pot like five years ago because it lasts it forever. It never ends. And that's just for, you know, a lot of powders under eyes just are too much, too heavy, too powdery, too thick. They, you know, they make, they kind of go in fine lines and this is just perfect because you do need to, I need to set concealer because, you know, you move your eyes all the time. So concealer will move. This is perfect for me the perfect product that will just keep everything in place and that's the one you use with this, this brush. brush yeah because it's a specific brush they sell with it and i always thought really but there is a reason like it works so once i've done my foundation concealer i'm kind of trying to do it in order mm -hmm. i've yeah. settled it then what i will do is i will depend so i will probably do cream bronzer mm, what do i do first depends so i will either sculpt first or bronze first i don't it depends so if i bronze first it'll be the milk makeup matte bronzer but it's it says matte but it's a cream bronzer mm -hmm. and that's what i use this smash mm -hmm. and i literally pretty much all over okay yeah like i'll press it in i won't rub so i'll, mm. I'll press it in and then i will sculpt with the gucci westman uh it's a westman atelier contour stick in bis biscuit Biscuit, biscuit or biscuit and then I'll just this I'll just do the contour so the reason More I said targeted. yeah so it depends like the, the, the milk bronzer is bronzer so it's to get color and then the contour stick is to for shadows sculpting so the reason I say I, I sometimes change the order it just depends what I need more some days because of water retention my my face can get puffier and less puffy so sometimes i'm more round and i need more sculpting mm -hmm. so then if i need a lot more sculpting i will do that first so it can be a bit deeper and then i'll put the bronzer on top to diffuse it and when i just need a little bit of sculpting i might do the bronzer first and then it mm -hmm. that's where you have to just look at your face you know yes. every day and and i know that sometimes i literally wake up and i'm <laughs> like i'm like i told you Jose, i'm like a sponge you know i'm like i'm like and sometimes i'm less and so I just, you know, that's what makeup's there for, you know, it's like you can play around. Yes, and I love that you, that's why it's always interesting to play around with like the same product or like yeah. the same product combination, but like this one first, the other. I get asked a lot, like foundation first or concealer first, mm. and I always say try both mm. and see, first of all, see what you like, because yeah. some people it's just a habit, like yeah. depending on how, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. Sometimes what you need is more of one or the other. Yeah. So if you know how to do both and if you know the effect that will give you Yes, then exactly. you can play with them and then you can use the, Yeah, and then you can see what you need on a given day yeah. um, cream blush I, I think this might be discontinued, but it's the <gasps> makeup oh, forever in 225 Do you think it's discontinued? I don't know in the UK maybe not worldwide <laughs> But this is my favorite blush. It's shade 225. It's called Second Skin. I mean, you can see how much I've used it. <laughs> um, it's beautiful. It's like a peachy cream. I love it. And I just kind of go like that and over my nose as well. So this I, I love. For, I always need a bit of blush for color. As much as I like being bronzed, bronzer without blusher, forget about it. Like, it, it just doesn't work. I think you just lose dimension in the face. So I always need that. I'm not a big powder person, but I always carry the Fenty Beauty Universal. It's called Invisi Matte Blotting Powder because it's it looks white, but it's actually sheer. It goes on every skin tone. And sometimes, you know, especially when it gets a little bit hot, you, I need a bit here, you know? Yeah. And so I would never put it over my cheeks or where I'm, but sometimes I get a bit. 
Like the side of the nose. Yeah. Those mm -hmm. are areas that I, I might just put some on and that's the best powder I found personally. The one thing I always have is my brown pencil and I usually have more than one. Today I have only two. <laughs> Sometimes I have a little more. So my favorite, I always use a brown pencil on my eyes, whether it's smudging or whether it's doing a line, it'll always be a dark brown pencil. My, my absolute number one is the Giorgio Armani uh, Smooth Silk Eye Pencil number two. Mm -hmm. And it has a little sponge, which I find very useful. And then I I also love NARS Mambo. Mambo. Like those are just, I just the brown pencil is so versatile. Like I said, it can be a neat, really great line to create um, a flick or you can smudge it and create something a bit more sultry or you can in a pinch put it all over your eyelid. I don't carry eyeshadow with me, you know? Mm. So it's one of those things like I think a pencil does all that. So a brown pencil is a must for me. I don't carry eyeshadow because usually I will use groundwork mm -hmm. by MAC on my lids as a base, and then this is so weird, but I carry Hoola Bronzer by Benefit as an eyeshadow. Oh! So I know you like blush as an eyeshadow. Yeah. I use bronzer as an eyeshadow. Yeah. So weirdly, Hoola doesn't really get used as a bronzer for me. It gets wow. used as an eyeshadow. So that's my eyes. And then I have mascara. I chop and change, but I've got Superhero. I love Superhero. At the moment. Uh, it's Cosmetics. Right, it's Cosmetics, which is what I've got. <laughs> nice black. I love the brush. It's not too thick but it does a good job. So that's, you know, I only ever wear black mascara. And then for brows, I have hmm, three products. <laughs> I thought I had two. For color, I use Brow Master by Bare Minerals. It's called Coffee. So I always have to brush them up. And then it actually has this flat shaped, you know, pencil. I don't really need much mm. filling in, to be honest, but it's just some, sometimes I have a gap because of course the hair in your brows doesn't, it's like the hair on your head, they don't all grow at the same time. So sometimes I'll have a little gap, which I'll fill in. And then I will either use Boy Brow, uh, which is tinted by Glossier in brown, on top always to just brush them up, keep them up, it's got fibers in it. Yeah, and gives a bit of volume. Bit of which volume, which I like, or clear brow gloss when I want to be less done. It's Clear Brow Gloss by Blink Brow Bar London. So that's that would be the brows. And then lips, um, literally MAC Subculture Lip Pencil. I and love it. Your it's perfect my perfect. Match. I mean, I think it's just a great, yeah. It's the color of my lips pretty much. <laughs> my lipstick. Her MAC lipstick. <laughs> Alexandra. That we both had, we both had our, our limited edition and uh, and it's still, you know, the thing is this is like, I sometimes feel bad because I'll, I'll take a picture or do a video or do a live and people are like, what's your lip color? What's your lip color? And then I'm like, oh, because I know people want to, you know, us to mention things they can actually purchase. But the reason we made them is yes. because it is actually what, you know, there's a reason to it. Not just because Max said, hey, do you want to do a lipstick? It's like we wanted to create something that we love. So for me, it, it genuinely is what I love. Yeah. It genuinely is the one that I literally is the color of my lips and that I like I like more than any other lipstick. So and the texture is so perfect. And it's a luster and it's light and so it, it is the one I wear. So I should probably, you know, move on. <laughs> but that's it. Only when you're you like <laughs> when I run out yeah. I should move on. But then and then finally I have Charlotte Tilbury Films Film Star Bronze and Glow. You know, I mean, it shows you which one, <laughs> it shows you which one I wear, not the highlighter. Again, I don't tend to wear as much powder bronzer, but if I need to retouch or I just a little something, I might do a little bit of that. But I just always have then that it's with this brush, with the, the, with real, the technique. real Techniques brush, and uh, I mean, I can do it now. It's more like it's rather than using it all over, it's just a bit of you know on the sides, kind here. of like a. Kind of like a bit of a, yeah, and then down the neck always, and then I finish, I don't know. You know, like maybe when my makeup's worn off a bit, yeah. just to kind of bring but it that's back that. to life. That's that, and very importantly, pencil sharpener. Oh, oh you yeah. carry it every time? Well, yeah, because the way I use uh, eyeliner and lip liner, mm. it needs to be a sort of See, sharp, very, sharp, very sharpish. Sharpish. But you know, this is not like I said. It's not like I wear this in my in my makeup in my bag every day, and I, when I run around. True. It but it's like you when when we're working. I mean, whatever I'm doing, if I'm somewhere filming or I come here to film with you, I will just have my makeup kit with me just in case you know I need to touch up or in case someone asks me to show what's in it. <laughs> if I'd known you were gonna ask me this, I would have brought. I would have cleaned my brushes. 
How do yes. you clean your brushes? I, I went you clean off them script. with. What do you clean your brushes with? Oh my god, I hate, it's a, I hate them. I hate what you have to do it. I know. But what so, do you use? Uh, um, this guy who I think he's. I, I mean, he was at least. I met him in a cover effects uh, event. Uh, yeah. He's a makeup artist, and his partner has this thing to clean brushes. Yeah. It's called Watford. Watford something. And it's like a tin. It's a solid soap. Yes. I use that. So you just, But I don't know what the name is either. But what? yeah, it's so easy. I because will you find just out go, and I will add That's what it. I use because I used it's to use, uh, all the makeup artists, they use a like, just dishwasher, right? And I got this and it's like a tin. Yeah. You open it and you just go like this in the tin. And for us lazy people who don't <laughs> love wash it, washing their brushes, it is actually the perfect product. Yeah, it is. But like exactly like you, I'm just like, uh -huh. so this is what I use. And I have it in my, I have it next to my sink in the kitchen so that I, it's there. So that I'm like, okay, I need to clean those brushes. But that's definitely the thing I'm ashamed of that. I don't know why I can't get my act together with cleaning those brushes. I am the same. I just think it's, when you're doing it, it's quite therapeutical. No, once I've done it, I'm proud. <laughs> but then it takes me a and, while to be proud again. <laughs> to need that pride back. I should just think about it as like, I don't know, when I, I don't know, when I'm watching the news or when I'm, you know, when you're doing something else. When I, when I watch you do one of your wonderful videos, I could time it and then clean my brushes yeah. as you're doing your video. Yes, you. and you're practicing your Portuguese. <laughs> now falo português, minha linda. Vixer e dono. Linda. Muito, muito bonita. Perfect. Thank you so much for doing this extra Thank you. video. I love you. And showing your dirty brush. <laughs> it's very real life, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I loved it because I feel like um, uh, it's my dream. So I'm, I know we're filming, but I'm just like oh, enjoying it so much. Like just looking at everything that came out of your makeup bag. So that was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs>